Hello friends, hope you're doing well. Welcome to our channel. Today we're starting the first lesson of the second educational series titled Industrial Production Methods. We'll be presenting this series on Tuesdays. I would therefore highly recommend that you subscribe to our channel. Doing so will ensure that you receive all of the upcoming sessions for this educational series just as soon as they are published. The very first lesson in this comprehensive course is appropriately titled Setting the Target Point because it is designed to establish a clear and foundational direction for everything that follows. Now it is important to understand that within this educational package, we are not going to teach you the specific steps on how to produce a particular item. Instead, our primary goal is to teach you how to carry out your overall production process in the best and most effective way possible. The principles we cover are universally applicable, regardless of what specific type of product you make, what particular machinery or technology you happen to use, or what kind of skilled workforce you currently employ in your day-to-day -day operations. In this course, we're going to teach you the fundamentals of production, as well as the methods and techniques that will allow you to achieve the best production with the highest efficiency, at the lowest cost, and with the greatest productivity. And as I mentioned, the first lesson of this course will be about setting the target point. Uh, as I mentioned, the very first lesson we will have in this course is determining the target point. The target point means that before you start production, you should know what you are aiming to achieve. This is something that will be discussed in detail later on. In other words, you need to know with what yield you are going to produce, with what specifications you are going to manufacture your product and where exactly you want to end up. That is to say, you can produce the lower body of, for example, a car model, or you can produce the upper body of a car model. Um, whatever your ultimate goal is, it needs to be defined in it because your production strategy and the way you set up your production method are determined based on that very goal we set together. And this goal can be anything. Um, it means you set a certain ceiling, for example, you say, I have this much capital and I want to start such and such a business with this capital. So managing that cost ceiling you set, that very limit you established, is itself a goal so that you can align your production with your financial resources and carry it out. Therefore, the first thing that actually uh, uh, determines your plan and production method is uh, setting your target point. The importance of this target point is very high and please do not confuse the target point with the critical point. Uh, critical points are those that if you violate them will actually affect the quality of your product and cause you problems and in a way the produced product will be problematic. The target point however is what you want to achieve and it can include anything. In terms of quality you can define your product in terms of timeline, in terms of production capacity, in terms of the amount and financial resources you intend to allocate. Once you have set this target point, your entire production process will be organized based on that target point. Or if you are currently producing and you have set a target point for yourself, but there is still a gap to reach it, this training course will be the best option for you. Just as I mentioned before, we have included a part of our training in this free educational package because industrial production methods are a very, very broad topic. I mean, if I combine at least four or five of my training packages together, you could say that in the end it would turn into several training courses and really summarizing all that information in one series is impossible. Unfortunately, in this free section, we are forced to present the material in a very condensed way. I hope that even this can be an opening for you towards a proper production process. But if you feel that the content is useful and can really help you, I suggest you purchase the rest of our training. Or we can also provide online workshops for you or your team as training courses. I hope that the topics discussed here will be effective and beneficial for you. I'm going to mention the factors that affect your target points and in fact we'll be discussing these factors during the regular weeks. These include your raw materials, your machinery and equipment and your workforce.
In fact, it's your production process and your quality control. Since financial matters are important for almost all of these sections, we haven't considered it as a separate section. We'll discuss the rest of the sections in more detail starting next week. Now, as for what topics we'll cover in each section, I'll actually explain that to you today. We'll go over things in a general way and God willing, we'll get into the details there. The topic we're going to discuss regarding those headline levels I mentioned, the factors that actually influence your target point, are the things we'll be talking about at those headline levels so that you can achieve your goal. These include the following items that I'm about to mention. One of these items is the cost factors for each of those sections, the things that we put at your disposal which will be discussed in this course such as direct and indirect costs. I will explain these to you in each section. There are influencing factors that actually affect your costs and data analysis that shows you which expenses are necessary and which ones are actually unnecessary. Now, concerning the specific methodologies that are employed in the discussion of the associated costs, we will proceed to examine these in more detail for each respective section. Another topic that, in fact, in the coming weeks I will talk about in each section is identifying bottlenecks. And let's take a closer look at how we can, in fact, go about the process of identifying the primary bottlenecks that exist within that particular topic and uh, the methods that are better to be used so that you can reach results much faster and be able to resolve those um, bottlenecks as well as the common mistakes that occur in these cases. This is also one of the topics that, God willing, we will discuss in each section next week. The next topic is something I will be talking about in every section, as it is incredibly influential in helping you to successfully reach your ultimate goal. This topic is production problems. In each section, I will provide you with specific guidance on how to manage those sudden and unexpected production stoppages that can occur. We're going to explore how you can effectively utilize proven and practical methods to resolve your production problems, all while operating at the lowest possible cost and implementing solutions in the shortest amount of time. There are actually some very common and effective methods that I'm going to explain to you in much more detail, showing you exactly how you can use these specific methods to identify your various production problems. And then, naturally, you should be able to resolve them completely. I will also share some valuable real-world experiences with you, drawing a comparison between which of these experiences belong to highly successful employees and, on the other hand, those from unsuccessful factories. We will also look at the different kinds of actions they take when these sorts of problems inevitably arise, so that, um, in actual fact, uh, we can have a proper discussion about the most appropriate path for solving our production problems and any other issues that might potentially arise in different areas which are what ultimately lead to those same production problems. The next topic that I will actually discuss and teach you in this educational pack is how to increase your efficiency as well as the definition of nominal capacity, actual capacity and achievable capacity and also what are the common reasons for capacity loss which many factories struggle with and unfortunately are unable to properly identify the root causes. I hope that after watching this training they will be able to actually find the reason for their low capacity. And now I am going to introduce you to some specific methods that are genuinely and demonstrably effective for substantially increasing your overall production efficiency all with a very minimal cost and within the shortest possible time frame. The next topic that I will discuss in this Tuesday training pack is, well, in each section I will introduce you to a series of specific methods and techniques that you can use in your production management, in your quality control management, in your human resources and in the use of materials actually in your production, in your raw materials, all of these areas. And um, well, these methods are really good methods that uh, except for very successful factories, unfortunately, many factories do not have enough information about them. Although I can only present these to you briefly in this training pack and explain them to you in a concise way, I hope that it will be useful and at the very least we will become familiar with the existence of these methods. 
And the final and perhaps most important thing I will be sharing with you each and every week throughout all of the sections is a detailed look at the most common mistakes that tend to happen when people are using these traditional methods. As I have mentioned before, this comprehensive traditional methods pack is a really substantial one, which ultimately means that if we combine four or five of our main educational packs together, we can make use of them, and that's what we're going to do. Maybe I have about 15 to 20 hours of training that I'm trying to summarize and condense into just one hour. Honestly, I can only briefly touch on the topics, but I hope that even this brief overview will be useful for you, at least to get you familiar with the subject and help you solve some problems. If you feel that listening to these topics in more detail would be beneficial for you, you can purchase our educational packs and stay in touch with us. I recommend that you definitely subscribe to this channel so you can see our future trainings as well. And I hope that... Man. I hope you like it and I kindly ask you to definitely stay in touch with us. Don't hesitate to support us and give us your feedback. If you have any specific experiences of your own, please share them with us. And if you have any questions or need answers, you can email us. The email address is written below this video, or you can leave us a comment. I wish you all success. Have a great day.